Welcome back to Animal Based In Your Face with Scott and Pam. Today I'm going to be making up a great breakfast or brunch idea with spaghetti squash that needs to be roasted. So you'll need a whole spaghetti squash and then you'll roast in the oven and you can find this recipe on our YouTube channel. We're gonna string it like noodles. You're gonna need salt, pepper. I'm using parsley, which is optional. You'll need a baking pan with parchment paper, bacon, which I already have pre-cooked, eggs, and your choice of cheese. Let's get cooking. So what you're gonna need is a spaghetti squash that's already roasted. And I do have this on our YouTube channel, like I mentioned, but I wanna show you when you roast a spaghetti squash, it looks like spaghetti noodles. It's a perfect pasta replacement that's low carb and great for so many different recipes. So first we're gonna start um, with our spaghetti squash and we're gonna take some out and we're gonna put it on a baking sheet. Okay, so we took our roasted spaghetti squash. Now this is only half of one and then what's on the pan and I strung it like noodles. Next, I took a half a cup of the roasted spaghetti squash and made a nest. And I'm gonna show you how I do it. It's super easy. But a half a cup of roasted spaghetti squash is only four net carbs. So a cup total is eight net carbs. So take your half a cup or however much you're using and you just want to make like a bird nest and you want it sunk in the middle but solid. And the reason you want it solid is because you want your egg to stay on that spaghetti squash as much as possible. Now, if it don't, it's okay. It's not about perfection, it's your food, you're eating it. But you know, um, food that's pretty is appetizing looking. So, you're just gonna make it into a nest, kinda sink it in, just like that, so your egg can go right in the middle. Now, next, I'm going to add bacon. You don't have to add bacon, you could do ground beef, sausage, um, turkey, you know, whatever you want to do, but I'm adding bacon. We do pre-cook our bacon. You can see the ways that we cook our bacon on our channel, but today I'm taking pre-cooked bacon. You can also use fresh. And then I took one piece and I just cut it up really small, okay? And I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it in the middle of my nest. Bacon is optional. Okay, I'm just gonna push it in. Make sure it stays nice and formed and as solid as possible. Now, if I crack my egg and it runs all over, I'm okay with that. I mean, it's all right, but I'm trying for it not to do that. That's the goal. Um, next, we're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. Now, I do put salt and pepper on a little bit when it's roasting. Okay, I have my two egg nests ready. And before we do any more, we're going to go ahead and preheat our oven to 425 degrees. Okay. Next, we're going to crack an egg. Like I said, if it runs all over the place, it's okay. These are large eggs. Let's see if I can go this way. And just crack it slow. Just like that. See? It's not running. Now, it might find a hole here or there, but the goal is for it not to run just like that. Yep. This is gonna be a delicious brunch or breakfast. You could do it for dinner too if you want. Let's see if this one cooperates. There's a little bit of egg white going off and that's okay. It's okay. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands and I'll be right back. Okay, next I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of fresh shredded that we shredded ourselves, mild cheddar. You can use any cheese that you want. You don't even have to use cheese if you're trying to stay off of dairy. But I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit on top. You don't need a lot, okay? Which I'm a rat, so I kinda like a lot. So we're just gonna fill it up. I'm gonna grab a little bit more. I'm gonna go over to this one. I also didn't mention earlier, you can also use ham. A lot of people love ham. It'd be a great protein to add. Look at that, see? Look at me adding more cheese. 
All right, and after this, you're pretty much ready to go. I am gonna sprinkle a little bit of parsley on mine. It's optional. Let me see if I can. Okay, and over to the next one. And if you're okay with carbs, you can make these bigger or you can make more or you can add a different protein, add some, you know, fried bacon on the side. Okay, now we're ready to go into the oven. We're gonna do it, like I said earlier, at 425 degrees. Now you want the eggs to be set, but everybody likes their eggs cooked different. So I'm gonna say 15 to 25 minutes, depending on the doneness you want your eggs. I like mine runny in the middle, so that's what I'm shooting for. We're going to the oven and we're gonna check on it in about 15 minutes. I am using today my Breville, it's a small, oven we love it it doesn't heat up the house in the summer and i'll put a link to it in our description so i set my timer for 15 minutes it's actually going to cook a little bit longer than this but we'll be back to see what it looks like our oven just went off at 15 minutes just want to take a quick peek now the most important part on this is that you get the egg whites done and as you can see Right there in that close up, my egg whites are totally done. So next it's up to you on how done you want your egg yolks. These look pretty perfect to me, so I'm gonna take them out. I just wanna remind you, since I did cook mine in a small oven, they do probably cook a little bit quicker. But look at that, look how beautiful that is. See the egg whites all the way through. Super easy meal when you have everything already prepped, like your bacon and spaghetti squash. Perfect for brunch. Take it to work. Let's get it on a plate. Now, it was super easy to lift my egg nest because we use the OXO brand spatulas. They are paper thin and they're super flexible. So, I had no problem moving it off of the baking sheet. And breakfast is ready. I will also probably meal prep a few of these, put them in containers because I work um, in homes where I have microwaves and it'd be super easy to heat these up. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Animal Based In Your Face. Click the bell to get notifications so you don't miss any new recipes that we post. Be sure to follow us on our Facebook page, Animal Based In Your Face Tribe, for support on this animal-based journey.